The Tonva word for water is par. According to the Tonva, Coyote once challenged a small stream to a race. Although Coyote was much swifter, he soon grew tired and lost the contest to a steadily flowing river. He walked off with his tail between his legs and had something to reflect upon for many a day afterwards. Non-native plants are transported to a new place in many ways. Their seeds are disseminated by birds, or the coats of animals, or even on lawn mowers. Some are purposely planted by humans who are unaware of the consequences. An example is the story of the mustard that you see spreading over these hills. The legend involves the explorers of early California, the Gaspar de Portola expedition and Father Junipero Serra. As they traveled north, they scattered the mustard seeds they'd brought from Spain to the right and left from their saddlebags. When they returned south a year later, they followed a ribbon of golden mustard. How would those Spanish visitors find their way 240 years later as the eight-foot-high mustard plants cover California's hills and fields? Fauna. Invisibles, silenciosos, insospechados. Estuvieron aquí, en este lugar, donde miramos, escuchamos, imaginamos. Mira, agitación en la hierba erguida. Un momento, tan breve como un suspiro del silencio. En la tierra cargada, el cielo apesumbrado. ¿Lo viste? La pluma en la corona de la cabeza, erecta como el penacho de un casco. ¿Qué hace ella? ¿A dónde va él? ¿A dónde han ido? Escucha, un trino bajo el murmullo casi perdido, un chapoteo, brusco, seguido por un silencio escalofriante como la muerte, sonidos sin forma, espontáneos, comas en un lenguaje estridente de la tierra civilizada. Imagina, no estás aquí, este lugar no te pertenece, eres uno de ellos, el desecho es tuyo, Tú rompes la superficie cristalina del agua, te arrastras, esperas, te escondes. Te has ido, has regresado. Este lugar es tuyo. Dead tree. Nothing remains the same. This dead tree was once a seedling that grew large and strong. It provided shade and created a home and food for insects and rodents. Then it fell to the earth, fertilizing the soil, allowing for new growth to appear. Zen Buddhist Thich Nhat Hanh writes, Without impermanence, life is not possible. How can we transform our suffering if things are not impermanent? How can our daughter grow up into a beautiful young lady? How can the situation in the world improve? We need impermanence for social justice and for hope. Impermanence is good news. Without impermanence, nothing would be possible. With impermanence, every door is open for change. Impermanence is an instrument for our liberation. 